This boat's called the Weta, and it's a tri trimaran designed by uh, some folks in New Zealand. It's been out about four years, and there are about 500 boats worldwide. It's fun because it's fast, and yet it's really simple to put together. A person can rig it and launch it themselves, or bring a whole family along. So it's uh, it's just a great combination of, of speed and stability. As a trimaran, this is incredibly stable. Even if it should flip over, and people rarely flip them, it can be righted by one person. So it makes it quite safe. It won't sink because it doesn't have a light keel. It's rated for 440 pounds, so it can handle a lot. And, uh, I think I put about 500 pounds of weight on it. But it sails really well with two or three, and um, it's great fun to sail solo. Upwind will do 10 knots easily, and I've clocked it with my own GPS at 16.8 knots off the wind, so it can really get up and go. This is a Dash 750, 24-foot trailable trimaran. We have it at school for those who aren't familiar with multi-hulls, you know. Uh, they're faster than the monohull, so you, you know, you you, you got to stay on your toes. The more uh, experience you have, probably the better off you're going to be. But uh, you can you can learn on this kind of a boat, and take some lessons, and get started. It's 1,600 pounds. It's not very much at all. No, it's all vacuum bag, infused epoxy, uh, parts that are baked uh, to a high degree uh, temperature wise and uh, virtually uh, there's no excess of epoxy left in it by the time they suck it all out and bake it. So the part's really light and very, very strong. You can go aboard, you can see there's a couple of bunks inside, you know. Okay. Yeah. A lot of guys uh, trailer it down to Mexico and they go in uh, LA Bay or Mulahe. It's about halfway down on the inside to see Cortez and go down there for a couple of weeks on vacation. Yeah, we've got boats in uh, Ventura, LA, Long Beach, Newport, um, San Diego, of course, quite a few. We have races, but it's for the, uh, it's basically uh, under the heading of ORCA, Ocean Racing Catamaran Association, which includes multi holes and trimarans and cats. And we race up and down the coast. We'll be, a lot of them will be in the uh, Ensenada race coming up. The product's called Flexi Teak. It's a synthetic PVC product that uh, gives you the look of a teak deck without any of the maintenance issues. So it's no caulk seams repair, no sanding, no oiling. Um, it's UV stable, so it won't ever go gray or brittle or crack or like a lot of the traditional teak decks when they go gray. Um, it's you spill red wine on it, you wipe it up with no staining. Fish blood hoses right off. It's as non-skid wet as it is dry. So basically, you get the look of a teak deck without any maintenance. It's it's, it's approximately half the weight of a uh, traditional half-inch teak deck. It weighs 1.1 pounds a square foot, so it is a very good application, say, up on the flybridge where weight's an issue, or on sailing yachts. Well, all electric. Uh, Duffy's been in business since 1970. Um, there are Duffy's all over the world. Right now, Newport Harbor's probably got 13, 1,400 of them. And uh, around here, we've got maybe 80 or 90 in San Diego Bay. So they're popular. They're very energy efficient. They come from the 14-foot uh, to the 22-foot, and uh, you know, size to fit whatever environment you want. Depending upon the size of the boat, they can go anywhere from say six hours to 10 hours, and they can go to five knots. They're, they're set as a five-knot boat because that's harbor speed, no weight. Oh, builders, we do a lot of restorations and uh, you know custom interiors, a lot of repair work. Yeah, yeah, we're in Shelter Island Boatyard. Been there since '76. Yeah, it's our first boat show. Almond Sales, we make uh, we make sails. Uh, the company was started by Dave Almond back in the late '60s up in Newport Beach. Uh, we have a loft here in San Diego. It's located over on uh, Shelter Island. We are a full service loft. We uh, sell new sales and we do repairs and we even do coaching if you want us to go down and teach how to sail, we can do that too. We do racing and cruising sales uh, and yeah, we're, you know, we're here to help the cruisers as well as the racers and we'll go down and uh, talk to you, pick up your sail from your boat, bring it in the loft and fix it up if that's what you need. 
Hotel Derby, it was started in the 70s, and there used to be about a thousand entries, and they won things like cars and boats and all sorts of things. And it was done by the Chamber of Commerce. So for some reason, like all things, it, it went away. So John Campbell, in conjunction with the Port of San Diego, is uh, bringing it back, and this is the third year. And last year we had a Miss Yellowtail, you can see she's very, very classy. So it's a fun tournament, and you can fish the entire time, April 30th through May 22nd. First year it was won by a woman. She went out in her boyfriend's boat. She caught the biggest fish. Last year it was a kayak. So you can do it on a sport fishing boat. You can do it on your own boat. You can kayak, but you just have a certain range that you have to fish in. The big party at the end, and it's held at the Valley High. And for this big party, people love it, and there's so many prizes. And then, year before last, there were so many prizes that they started drawing numbers, and everybody that had come with a friend, even though they didn't win, anybody that fished it got prizes, and it was like Christmas. Challenge America started 34 years ago, 1978, by disabled veterans, so we've been in San Diego. Uh, for that period of time, sailing out of the Big Bay. And it's a free sailing program to, for kids and adults and disabled veterans, uh, you know, those with disabilities. And we're volunteer, we're an all-volunteer organization, and we rely on the public. Uh, whether you can sail or not, we'll teach you how to sail if you volunteer. And uh, we're happy to be here at the boat show in San Diego. It's always a great venue for us. We meet so many people and uh, people who want to learn how to sail and those who want to volunteer. So come on down, join, uh, come see us. We're on uh, Shelter Island right next to the Valley High Restaurant. And uh, we try to sail as often as we have volunteers to take the disabled out. And we have both small and large boats. Uh, our main boat is a 16-foot, two-person boat called a Martin 16, and it's a keel boat, so you don't have to worry about flipping over and all of that, and it's adapted for people with all types of physical and psychiatric disabilities. Okay. Too. It's an online school. Everything is done online. It takes about 30 hours, average students 30 hours to get the school done. You can start whenever you want. Once you sign on, you have a full year to complete the course. So it works out really neat. You do it at your own leisure. We can do what's called a six pack. That's your, that's your first license. We can go up to the 100 ton masters. 866 CSEA CAP, C A P T, which is a, obviously a toll free number. Or you can go online, marinerschool.com or marinerslearningsystem.com. And that's probably the way to go online. You can check us all out. It's gonna last you. Yeah. Thank you. So my name is Nilla and I'm here to show you rescue tape from Harbor Products. So if you feel this tape, it's not sticky, right? It has no adhesives. But if you point your finger at me, all you do is stretch and wrap and you're basically rescued. This tape takes 950 PSI tensile strength, 8,000 volts per layer when you're insulating, and 500 degree Fahrenheit. Basically that means if you get dry rot on your radiator hose, you can just lay five layers and you're good to go. You can create your own gaskets, O-rings, measuring the ends of lines and the water depths. Excellent for any kind of insulation, basically. Do your tools. Excellent for waterproofing. It takes gasoline, diesel, water, acids, you name it. It's UV resistant. And it's basically like a MacGyver tape. Only your imagination is going to stop the usage for this. So just play with it, have fun with it, and you're going to get rescued. This is what it looks like. It becomes one piece of silicone that will never come unraveled, basically. You can try and pick it, it won't work. But you can buy it online at rescuetape.com or Ace Hardware, Bass Pro, or West Marine as well. My name's Gary Eldridge, and I'm with uh, Cabo Riviera. We're a uh, resort development being done in Los Cabos. Uh, it's on, it's north of the airport in an area on the Sea of Cortez called the East Cape. And uh, what we have bought is, uh, we're developing the most spectacular resort here. It's on two miles of the most beautiful swimmable white sand beach. 
and we are selling beautiful home sites. Uh, some of the home sites uh, have moorage for 100 foot yachts in their backyard and uh, a white sand swimmable beach in the front. Uh, I'm Peter Housen, I'm with the Leukemia Lymphoma Society and we're promoting the Leukemia Cup Regatta which is a series of regattas that take place across the country. There are about 40 right now and San Diego is one of the few places that actually does not have one. So this year we're starting it again. Um, it was sort of a warm-up race for the Yachting Cup for a while and we're trying to get it more of a regional thing so that people, uh, we have more yacht clubs involved, more people involved. Um, we have, we're talking to Mission Bay, uh, we have a couple of uh, other yacht clubs that are setting dates for later this year and then next year we're going to make it a much bigger thing with a kickoff party hopefully at the boat show um, and then a big dinner at the end of the year to recognize our top fundraisers. about tours here in the city of San Diego. Anytime you guys want to come down and show you the city, a beautiful time, a beautiful day. This is my information right here, 760-717-9773. And if you come down here, you won't regret it. Yeah.